Hello, hello, got mics. Welcome to Victor Who Reviews. And today I'm reviewing Southern Season 4, Episode 2, The Fairy Bird. And after Gordon uh, went out with uh, the, the people from last week's episode were, were hiding, we find uh, one of the members of the gang uh, that looks very afraid and is warned them to be scarecrow. Coming and then so Bruce on fans so it turns out he got caught by police and after just getting out to him and they were gonna get the the Wayne Ainsley's lawyer to pay bail so when went on turned up he said he just let that Bruce go but they'll need to talk more ah I guess maybe a few episodes after it but whatever. And Gordon, uh, Bruce and Alfred go and they, they get bumped into, uh, Lucy's box and he does ask, uh, how Bruce got the other, uh, court spirit and stuff like that. And Bruce, after that, they just got uh, from rock climbing. Uh, then, uh, uh Lucy just notices there's some other stuff there. Um, just, uh, then they just say goodbye. And then, uh, Penguin turns up in Barrett Gordon like he did in last week's episode. And look what's out that, that, uh, the police in Scotland are just relics of the past and how he's doing with the last and where that uh, Johnson is. And he tried to make Gordon, well but then, uh, well, the guy was, uh, is, uh, is the Penguin like a bird or and I'm all in the same as bird, the bull dog is in, and the chicken is all the picture in the paper from last episode. And then, uh, Penguin just has a bit of a deal or dare for Gordon. This can be 24 hours to catch Ed Johnson, and he doesn't have to tell him, his officers, and basically press that he failed. And with Johnson, he actually goes at the Arkham and just confronts the warden who's burning some papers. I don't know. And just that put the the money on with the spear gas and he makes the entire uh, asylum the army. Yeah. I don't think the advertise for Arkham Asylum. Arkham Asylum! If you're not even, if you're either sane, you're going crazy. And if you are crazy, just let you go in a practicality. Or just let you be, uh, taken away by unstrained, or, uh, really strange men. And look the other way. Whatever. Arkham Asylum. Cause we're not too crazy. Yeah, that's, that, I think that's bad, I have some idea, but... Uh, with, the uh, Tabitha and Selena, they find out that, uh, Barbara is alive, and she wants to be a parent up with them with, the uh, weapons shop. And the thing is, she sounds calm. And that, is just, just weird, because, in the last two seasons, they're acting kind of crazy. And I don't know what is worse, the crazy one or calm. Hmm. And later on, that uh, penguin comes over and looks says that that they that it's just doesn't open yet since uh, no criminal can do anything. Well, uh, his uh, notification like it needs to be uh, attacked or some other stuff. And Zaz is just that uh, uh, like very shipper like that. Basically, Christmas. <laughs> um, thing that's just suspicious of how I, uh, Barbara is able to afford all the weapons and that, and said, we kind of lost money with the siren bar and was supposedly dead. But, yeah, they got me. And the uh, Ivy actually, uh, volunteered to join up, as he's been trying to join with. 
uh, Captain Selena when Selena tried to get uh, Captain to join Barbara. Oh yeah, and Penguin also said that it even had a rumor that the three of them are gonna uh, betray him. And uh, Dad's gonna kill Barbara with her own stuff. Yeah, the lines in this episode. And um, Tabitha does that want to join Barbara, but only on one condition. She gets the shop and Barbara's hand off. Yeah, that's the circle. I think it's like a circle thing, like get yeah, Penguin chopped off Bush's hand, Riddler uh, chopped off Barbara's hand. That's her turn. And when you change the salad to it, she'll go get cash her. So, it says it's going to be a for now, but let's wait and see how long that sets that uh, breaks down. And then the police uh, find out that the uh, Arctic is going well, a bit crazier than usual, and that's the important thing about it. It's going to be there. And he's about to go, and he's going to go by himself, and go to police, so I see a reason. So, you have to go see a uh, the difference that they made and they don't then spat on with the red the bad when going to the great to it. I think Bullock can go with him and him point out that he did say in one episode of the past season seasons that one day he'll be no score when he has to go. I'm racing one of those because they he, he still he still needs uh, to be on his side for the goal board and then thing to put in another Please pass himself. And I'm going to go myself and Jonathan look ecstatic. He's the, the guy that uh, kills dad. And I'm going to be off from the crazies. And then when he gets it, uh, to the room, the room is that when he came at the point now at uh, the uh, he he's free, he's Soon, by his fear, or the pain of demon, and his fear of error. And then he saw what Gorn fears, not necessarily killing herself in a battle for her blood. And then Gorn tries to get Gorn to uh, kill himself by putting his uh, wrist or something. So Gorn is able to uh, uh, overcome it, and then John tries to out. So said, I think it's impossible. Now, let's say that the thing that Johnson is it was a god. They really think they're very good actors playing the bad guys in a certain angle, I don't know. And then there's uh, Johnson that escaped after talking to Gordon. Again, when Gordon just tries to help him with somebody just having it. And Gordon is in this way with the, the crazies. Because Don said that Gordon is their, their demon, but he did kill him free. I don't know. And um, with Bruce, he's gone out again, even though Apple wants to, like, stop, stop him, but someone see them killed either. And he's talking to the guys that he was, uh, they found in the last episode that way, that fell through, uh, the glass ceiling. And then he was being played and get his mask pulled off, uh, off him. And then they're walking on the morning guys that they are no care for their care. And then I see Bruce start being over and using a flame to just scare them away. And he did escape, but one of the people that pointed going at him, but I was not now. Then I was just got some Bruce saying that he's not really ready to do the Bruce with And he did that to like that. Um then uh uh Fox to come over with some uh mountain climbing gear. This is that uh, what they sewn in the trailer with the globe, the body armor that that uh, uh bulletproof and stuff, stuff like that. And at the end of the episode we saw that Bruce that uh, took him from the building and talked out for with two a uh in there. Um but not that's Alfred made the master group, not, not, uh, Fox. 
working as me and part of the people as a boss made a mask look cool. And it looks, uh, looks good. If it had to cable look awesome, but uh, you have to wait for that. Oh yeah, we're at RV, so we're just getting some of uh, stuff from this set. Uh, uh, Flores, I think it might be. And we like, had some thing from like, different lines that are supposed to make people stronger or something. Well, it's not more called that you use to hang. Uh, in those guys warm that, that you can never see DNA in that. And that's where they're at skin or something that's like cracking or I'm not sorry now, but they already saw what really happened. Maybe they're going to get an echo morph or something. Maybe they'll grow plants to them. And I don't know, part of it, maybe probably, it's not probably, uh, one of the budget video effects. That's what, let's see. And then, uh, Ken comes over and tries to scrape Gordon and then asks the police if uh, uh, anyone come up with him, he'll triple the salary and Gordon looks really angry, so full of the at the bar. And then getting the idea to go to the home for help. Yeah. He even points out uh, even if he saw the face of our home, he wouldn't the head of him to be killed as his best son. We're well, going on anyway, and that's what's at the end. This is a good episode. Stuff with Bruce and Matt was just great, and the uh, scarecrow looks awesome, and uh, the return of Barber was great. I, I heard uh, uh, there's a rule at the end uh, for a back, but I don't know how she got her body, so the body so how she was brought back uh, in another episode, probably, yeah. Uh, and the fourth one, but, yeah. Um, just a lot of good stuff in the episodes, and good music, and good sets, and great scenes. And maybe Bruce can going to be the guy that gets scarier. To the bad guys, and only going to be a big quantum brain. Anyway, uh, next time, uh, Gorn got to enlist the help of, uh, uh, Valcon, but he didn't really help, so his uh, daughter, Sophia, might be helping since she comes to Gotham after, uh, Jen. And um, Bruce goes to, uh, Penguin Oxen and gets a knife or something that's probably Connected to race. Just, uh, I don't know what else that happened. Maybe a little bit Selena or something. Maybe Edward flying and out the freezer, but. Uh, anyway, uh, to that, I'm a group. Have you guys 